ever wonder what it's like to be in a movie? Well, here we are at Walt Disney Studios, where we're going to give you a glimpse of what it was like for us. Think of it. We learned how to dance, sing, and even fight like real stuntmen. It was the best. We even made some new friends along the way. That's right. That's right. When Walt Disney Studios decided to make a new movie called Newsies. OK. So what is a Newsie anyway? Well, a Newsie is what they used to call kids who made a living selling newspapers in New York City. Hi, guys. Time for class. It was, like, it was 17 no. years old. Hey, did I say having a great time grunting and groaning first thing every morning on a Hollywood soundstage? For a whole spring and summer just getting into shape. Some of us didn't even know how to dance at first, but we learned. He's just the greatest dancer and director. When you want help, you know, he'll come over and try to help you, you know. But, uh, you know, you are dealing with a lot of kids here, and I think it's really hard. Him, but he's great as a director. I've worked in films where people are yelling, shut up all the time and be quiet all the time. And it's insulting to be talked to that way. It's King Chuck, the King Chuck Abobo technique seems to work really well. <laughs> Would you guys agree on that? Oh, definitely. Peggy and I decided in the very beginning of this project that it wasn't going to be about adult supervisors. And it was the most delightful, cheerful, and fun experience. I think it's going to be more exciting to go up. And there was a loving spirit that surrounded this project all the time. It's just as if we've known each other forever, you know? So, so I think that'll carry over into the, to the movie. I walked right in between. Yeah, but you were late. No, I'm moving on Peggy. You're too far. You weren't on camera. Guys, Peggy, careful. give him a mark. You just stepped too far out. You have a tendency to go far out. <laughs> just go, we'll give you a mark. Thank you, David Moscow. See how well liked I am on the set. Moscow. <laughs> David Moscow brought a lot of fun to this movie. He kept us from getting too serious. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. my God. <laughs> he, was, he was doing stuff to me. He's an instigator. <laughs> And, I, and, and often, I was the one that was being instigated against. I don't instigate anybody. Did anybody tell you that? I don't make cause trouble to anybody here. How you doing? Hey, that's me. I played this newsy named Boots, and here I am, still half asleep, arriving at the studio to start a brand new day. Be right back. First, there was always makeup to get, and costumes to fix, and donuts and orange juice to grab before school. Yeah, school. Yes, you have to go to school. Right there at the studio, with special tutors, at least three hours a day, no matter what. Grapes. Uvas. Ah, bravo, bravo, bravo. Watermelon. How many other guys? You know what it means? I don't know. All kinds of subjects were taught, and we all got a lot smarter than when we started. You're not a dancer until you've taken your first. Put your hands there. Put your hands there. Put them in. Now move them. If I do that, I lose. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And there are always games to play, like this one called Standoff. Ah. And this one called Hand Slap. You gotta wait till I get there. <laughs> and the most painful of all, Knuckle Buster. Oh! You know, K is the best. He's like a kid. I mean, he plays around with us. On the weekends, he comes out, he goes out to the movies and things with us. He's really great. There are a couple truly awesome fights in Newsies. When the bad guys try to stop the strike, and we rehearse for those too, just as much as we did for our dances. And that meant learning how movie stuntmen punch and kick and fall without hurting each other. And there's more to that than you think. It's pretty strenuous because everything is really physical. All the things that we do is running around and, and jumping and dancing and singing. And so it's, you get home and you're really tired and you basically crash. Well, that's a lot of fun. I love that stuff. That's a lot of fun. The funnest part was martial arts training. We all loved that. That was like the thing that we looked forward to. That and lunch were the two best. One day I went into the recording studio and there was like a whole orchestra waiting for me to record it. And you know, and the only time I've sung before is just in the car, just singing myself. After a scene, we were sitting down and 
there are these faces that I do, like a monkey face and orangutan and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sitting there and I'm showing Christian, and she's watching. And and then I started getting embarrassed, and she walked over and she goes, "Well, what's this?" And she started doing things with her face, and she just came right over and just started just started getting into it with us, and it was really cool. With Luke, uh, who plays less in the film. He's very small and he's intimidated by, uh, by things, so when I was working with him, I would work with him personally and let him throw punches at me. At the beginning, it was like, I didn't know anything. I was just like, whoa. We had to do this crowd scene where I was the only girl and there was a hundred guys around me and they were pushing and kidding around and it gets out of control sometimes. I mean, it gets obnoxious and they're joking and they think I'm one of the guys and forget that I'm a female and that it is a little uncomfortable. She enjoys it, you know? being the only girl amongst all these boys. I think she enjoys it. Christian, Christian. One day we planned a practical joke on Kenny where we stood up at that little balcony and just as the day was ending and Kenny was coming out to go you know, home, we tried to pour water on him right on top of his head. Unfortunately, we missed, but then David and Christian were right on it and they had water guns, so as soon as he ran away, he knew something was going on, and David and Chris came right behind him and started squirting. For some reason, I don't know why, these guys felt like they had to torture me at the end of every week. You know, they had these oozy water machine gun type deals. You know, I left wet every Friday night. We fill his filled his trailer with newspapers up to here, crumpled up. His newspapers were up to the ceiling of his trailer all over the place. As he opened the door, papers just fell on him like this. They really wanted me in blue because of my eyes. My eyes are blue if anyone can't see. And they wanted the blue to like show off my eyes and everything. And I wasn't quite sure if I wanted blue, I like gray.